Hey guys, Miss Perizzo here, and I'm in the wrong one, but that's okay. All right, so I wanted to take a moment to show you how to approach 8th grade IXL AA9. It's the solving systems with the substitution method dealing with word problems. So, ooh, okay, I'm going to try to fit the word problem up here. I'm going to cut that part off. And I'm going to try and show my work in the post-it note by typing it um, since I can't show you on screen by writing. So take a second, pause the video, read, the, read through the problem yourself and see if you can get the setup done. All right. <clears throat> so if we're taking a look at the problem, we have uh, Ms. Pittman. She's going to hire a professional to come to her house and do hair and makeup. All right, so she has two choices, all right? So we have two different people. So that right there is telling me, I'm gonna start taking notes. I have a woman from Stamford Salon, all right? So I'm gonna organize my notes that way. So it starts with an initial fee. Well, remember a starting fee or an initial fee, flat fee, all of that means that's my y-intercept. So she starts with um, $30 and, so and means plus, an additional $25 per hour, okay? So if I use that expression, 30 plus 25X, I would figure out how much it's gonna cost her um, to do the hair and makeup by the hour. So I can do the Y. So that means that X represents hours and Y represents total money spent. All right, so that's the equation for Stamford. And then we have another person from Beauty by Braden. I'm just gonna say beauty. All right, um, now this salon offers a free consultation, so no fee or anything like that, but just charges an hourly rate of 40. So that means that their y-intercept is zero and their hourly rate is 40. So there's an expression. And if I do that, it will give me the output of y. And it's still the same because again, in systems, the x and the y represent the same in both situations. All right, so now I can use what I know about substitution method instead of graphing it. It's saying how much would um, Ms. Pittman end up paying and how long would it take if she's gonna pay them the same amount no matter what. All right, so basically I wanna, I'm trying to figure out the solution. When will they be the same? So for me, I'm gonna choose the easier one here. Um, since both of them are, are y equals, remember, you take the expression and plug it into the other. So I'm going to take this 40X from the beauty equation and I'm going to plug it in over here to this Y value. So I'm gonna take Stanford Salon, which is 30 plus 25X equals, and I'm gonna go ahead and take this guy right here, okay? And instead of Y in the Stanford Salon, I'm actually gonna go ahead and paste the, uh, the beauty one in there. Okay, so now you can see I've got, I've rewrote my Stanford Salon equation with um, the substitution method and I have all one variable. So now I can solve. So I'm gonna go ahead and subtract 25X from both sides. Oh, I'll, show, I'll, I'll, I'll type it out, minus 25. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a good teacher and show my steps, even if it is a pain with typing. But this is good to show you what you should do, like if you need to type out your, example in a, like a online platform. All right, so there we go, 30 equals 15X, divide both sides by 15, so that will be two equals X. All right, now, remember how I labeled it, this is why that, that label is important because we need to understand that that answer right there means two hours. So after two hours, how much will Ms. Pittman pay? And remember, this is when it, they will both cost the same. So you can go back into any equation. So if I go back up here, so $40 per hour, if it's two hours, will give you the Y. So that means at the beauty, beauty by Braden, it would be $80 equals Y. And if you were just not convinced, you're like, well, let me just double check. Let me make sure that this would be the same thing at Stanford, where you get 30 plus 50 equals Y and we would get 80. So boom, boom, ding, ding. All right, so now that, oh, that is not what I meant to do. There we go. Boop, 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 boop. All right, that right there is our Y, so that's our total dinero, our total money there. So now we're gonna take a look at our situation. Miss Pittman will pay, well, how much will she pay? She will pay $80 
oh, my notes disappeared, if it takes them two hours, okay? And then we hit submit, okay? Alrighty, now remember on this particular skill, um, I only required an, an 80 for the graphing ones. So AA1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, you should get an 80 or higher. So this one, if you know, if you get to 15 minutes and a 60, they are a bit longer. Um, that's totally fine. But we just want to get in the habit of showing our steps, taking our time, and really paying attention to what we look at. So let's do one more together, okay? How about try this one on your own, pause the video, try it on your own, and then, and then see how you did. All right, I'm going to pause it on mine. I'm going to go ahead and get it set up just to kind of save time for the video. Okay, so I've gone ahead and typed in what my notes would look like. So with the small helicopters, I noticed that they were talking. So I had small and I'm comparing it to the large. So that's my two different equations right there. So here's how I came up with the equation. We're talking about weight. So the weight, it's three, what is it, kilograms? No, pounds. Three pounds for each helicopter. So the X is how many helicopters, how many small ones. And the container is 20 pounds. So um, that's where those numbers came from. And then the, if I do that expression, that'll give me the total weight of that shipment. So the Y is the total weight and the X is gonna represent the number of helicopters. Now again, you don't have to use Y and X. If you wanna use variables that make sense to you, like maybe um, if I was giving you an example here, um, the total weight is equal to three times the number of helicopters plus 20. So that's just another example, like where I could say that W equals total weight and H equals the number of helicopters. That might actually help you out and, and solve it a little bit better. So um, that's something else to consider, another option. Especially since we're not graphing it, we don't have to make sense of what's your X and what's your Y. All right, and then same thing here for the large helicopters. They were four pounds each, but their container only weighs 12 pounds. Um, all right, so what I did is I'm taking the equation for the small helicopter and I'm going to take the expression from the large helicopter. I'm going to go ahead and copy that. I'm going to say, you know what? I'm going to replace the Y in this expression with that, exp um, sorry, in this equation with that expression. Okay, so I just simply took the Y out. I'm like, well, Y is equal to this as well. So now I can go ahead and set them equal. So now since I have a variable on both sides, I'm going to subtract 3X from both sides. So I have x plus 12 on the left equals 20. Subtract 12, I get x equals eight. Now remember going back up here, that x was my number of helicopters. So now, all right, I'm gonna go over here and say, okay, well, if they both have eight helicopters in there, I'm gonna figure out their weight. So I'm going to go back to the large helicopter one just because that's easier for me to type into right now. So if I send eight large helicopters, what will be the weight? Y equals 32 plus 12. Y equals 44. Okay. So if I send eight helicopters, it will be 44 pounds. And I can check up here if I put in an eight up here just real quick times eight. Three times eight is 24 plus 20. Yep, I get the same answer, 44, which is what I want. All right, so the shipping weight of a full container of either size will be, now this one's the weight, so pay attention to what you're asking for. So the weight is going to be 44, and it holds, I have a horrible short-term memory, eight, eight. All righty, submit, okay. All right, so that's kind of the idea. You wanna just kind of look through set up your equations, figure out who you're gonna plug in, and then the most important part is reading, reading here to make sure you're filling in in the correct place. So I bet if I did, I would hope if I did one more, it would get me up to a 60 and my 15 minutes, okay? So that's how you would do AA9. Let me know if you have any other questions and I'll be happy to help you out.